Look at these cute sons of bitches. Hi, babies! Hi, what are you doing? No, 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 but stay outside. God, you guys hate being outside. Why? Go play, go be dogs, go! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Look at how fat my little funny is getting. Before you were able to see all her little ribs. <laughs> you were able to see all her little ribs. But now you can't because she's getting, she's feeling out. Look at you, you look so good. You look so good. I'm so happy for you, Fawn. I'm so happy for you. Ooh, bigger than like that. Don't pick on her. She might be little, but she's fierce. Fawn, leave her alone. I'm not gonna break it up though. You guys need to work that shit out. I think it's super cutie that she's filling out because um, she's always just been so skinny and we feed her and we actually try to give her um, more fattier food just because she needs to fill out and it's just, she was at such an unhealthy weight. So to see her this way, it's awesome. And recently she got some teeth extracted because um, I took her when she got that, that little nub thing that was growing on the side of her face. Um, the doctor, doctor recommended uh, to remove a couple of her teeth because she thinks that they may be hurting her. So then um, we did that and I think that contributed to her wanting to eat more, which is really, really awesome. So proud of you, funny. Even though I don't know what you did. Bikini. Well, today has been kind of a half rough day. Half rough just because Pop Bear left and he's on a writer's retreat with um, Joe and Casey. And I'm sure you guys will see that vlog because as I'm vlogging, he's also vlogging over there. So it's going to be really interesting to see how his day was without me. <laughs> but it's okay. I got my pups. I got this little baby. Look at how big this belly is getting. I can't believe it's two more months. And then I have a baby. Like, I'll be out here with my dogs, right? And it's super tranquil. And it's very nice. And it's very, and it's very soothing and calming. And then I look at the patio. And I look at the space. And I just look at my pups. And I just stand here. And I just picture myself with this, like, toddler running around, toys scattered everywhere. Maybe getting rid of this table and, like putting like an inflatable pool with a bunch of toys because it'll be for a baby. And I'm just so excited when I just think and imagine that. And I can't wait, I really can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I miss Papa Bear, <laughs> so lame. Anyway, um, yeah. I'll show you what I'm doing inside in a minute. You're gonna see how lame I am. But before I show you what's going on inside, I must show you this corny video that I sent to Paw Bear right now. Cause I miss him. What are you doing? You guys. You're messing up mom's plant. Get out of my plant. Get out of my <laughs> Fuck, I'm so old. Hey, get out of my plants. Go away, go over there. Get out. Go play on the grass. Yes, go over there. But anyway, let me show you this video. With my corny ass. Oh, that girl. Say hi to Papa. Oops, say hi to Papa. Hey, Milo, say hi to Papa. Milo, hey, say hi to Papa. Say hi, Dad. What the hell, Fun? Hi, Dad. There you go, there you go, Briggy. Fun, leave her alone. Fun, hey, Briggy, say hi to Papa. We miss you. We miss you, Dad. Okay, see you later. Hope you're having fun. Because we're kind of having fun, but we all really miss you. <laughs> Bye. We do really miss him. Oh, guys. All right, anyway, let me show you what's going on inside.
right, so I don't usually drink milk out of carton, but there was like this much left. And yeah, there's no point in dirtying a dish for that much milk left. And I just thought it would make for funny B-roll. So yeah, I don't, I don't normally do that ghetto shit. But anyway, this is what's happening in my side of town. I'm just looking at a lot of emails. I know this is Amazon. I'm about to buy a couple of things I need for um, a home office that I'm trying to put together. This is actually gonna be, oh, sorry. <laughs> my camera almost fell out of my hands. Uh, this is gonna be, this is the paper shredder is gonna be in addition to that. And then all the stuff that's in here is gonna get filed away. So I need to get a filing cabinet. But yeah, just doing a lot of work. I get cold occasionally. Look at Fawn back there. So I have my blanket, all the bills that I have to take care of or file or something like that. Um, I clean out my bag because I'm living out of this bag right now and it's not very convenient. So I think I'm on the market for a backpack because I had one before, it was awesome. And I was like, oh, maybe a bag might be better, but who the fuck am I kidding? I know I'm a backpack person. I tried it out, didn't work. So I'm like emptying everything out. Um, I got a bunch of chargers. And look at this bullshit. Since the iPhone 7 came out, like to have the headphone jack, since it doesn't have it anymore, you see that? Like you have to have this shit. So I have to, one additional thing I have to take care of and carry. And um, yeah, my wireless headphones in there, a bunch of shit. And over here, I just have like junk food that I'm eating water, because water's so important and I haven't been drinking enough of it. And my doctor, uh, just recommended I take iron, so this is what he recommended. Uh, it's called, oh, slow FE, I don't know. So I added it to my little, I feel so old, my little pill, pill case, so that I don't forget that I have or haven't taken my, my pills yet. And it's not medication, they're just uh, prenatal supplements. So it's like fish oil and then a lot of different vitamins, and then the iron is what I add now. So. Um, I keep track of what pills I have or have not taken by this little thing and it's been a lifesaver because sometimes I'm like, fuck, did I take it? And I don't want to overtake it or I don't want to just not take it at all. So that saves my ass and it's pretty cute. And then <laughs> I got some Milano's and yeah, I'm just here <sighs> by myself, just working, which is kind of cool. I'm still staying productive, but it is a weekend for me and usually weekends means time to just unplug and live life. And, and just disconnect, because Monday through Friday, it's like a grind, because we have barbell, and then we have JK, and then we have shoots uh, for barbell and JK, so Monday through Friday for me is just nonstop. Uh, so the weekends, I like to decompress, unwind, and do human, regular people shit, so um, it's kind of a weird one for me, because my Paul Bear's not here, and I'm working, so it's cool, not hating on that, but it's just some getting used to. I don't like this life. I like enjoying this beautiful house with my beautiful papa. So I just gotta get used to it. And I'm sorry, it's gonna be such a whiny vlog. And how funny would it be that papa is having like the time of his life? He's like, I feel so free. I love it here. And I'm over here like, I miss papa. <laughs> I can't wait to see his footage. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm not sure whose footage is gonna be uploaded first just yet but then it would be funny if we see his first and then you see mine or vice versa. It's, it's gonna be great, I can't wait to see it. But yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit more work done before it is nighttime for me. Um, it'll probably be nighttime for me, or time to wrap it up, I should say. Maybe like a few more hours. It's only eight o'clock. I'm usually in bed by 10, but since I have to sleep by myself, <laughs> um, I may push it back a little bit because I am a wuss when it comes to sleeping by myself. So I may need some like TV assistance or I may just need to tire myself out a little bit before I can get to bed. So I'll just do a little bit more work, watch a little bit more TV. Let me show you what I'm watching. It's this show that I just randomly found on Netflix. Uh, and it is, what happened to the TV? Oh, uh, it's called, I don't know if any of you guys watch this, but stop, don't scare me. I'm by myself, don't start barking for no reason. Uh, it's called Riverdale, and I think it's a Netflix original, I'm not sure, maybe it is, but yeah. 
So, um, I don't know. So it, it takes place, it's like these high schoolers, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's like this drama, but uh, it's like a TV drama, or a teen TV drama. And um, it's like the weirdest shit ever, but it's one of those things that you can't stop watching. Like, it's not good. I guess it's good if you're younger. Um, it's a lot of like teen drama and it's really cool. If I was younger, I would really appreciate it just for everything that's going on. But now that I'm older, I'm like, what? This doesn't happen in the real world. It's kind of like, I might even be dating myself here, but it's kind of like 90, what is it, Beverly Hills 90210? Or what's another one that I used to watch? That was like a drama like that. I can't remember, I didn't watch much TV growing up, but um, yeah. I need background noise when I work and I was hoping that this would be just that, like dumb background noise. But I still get sucked in, as bad as it is, I'm still like, oh my god, Archie and you know the teacher are hooking up, what? And I keep watching episode after episode after episode and somehow I've watched like half of the season. It's crazy. So if you're a big fan of Riverdale, cool. Uh, if you are interested in Riverdale, check it out. I don't highly recommend it, but if you just want background noise, Go for it. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of what's keeping me company right now. <laughs> River Hill. Because Bob Bear is gone. Fuck, I'm so lame. I'm gonna just shut up right now. I'm gonna shut up, get back to work, and I'll check in with you guys later. <laughs> I know how you feel. I know how you feel. All right, so I just about wrapped up my work for tonight. But in the midst of doing all of that, wrapping it up and just working, um, I started getting a headache, and what I've noticed helps me the most when I get a headache because I'm trying to stay away from any doctor-approved headache medicine, aka the only thing, <laughs> Tylenol. Um, I'm trying not to take anything, so the thing that I have noticed that has been working for me the best is as soon as I feel any sort of tension or pressure headache or any sort of headache coming on, I do cardio and it feels really good and it may, helps it go away. So I'm attributing the headache to possibly just being a bunch of hormones running through my body or something, I don't know, but I'm gonna do maybe like 30 minutes of, of, of walking or cardio and hopefully that makes me feel a little bit better. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now in my little, my little garage here where I have my gym set up and then I have a, an assault bike, which I'm not gonna do because it's a little bit hard. I think I'm gonna jump on this treadmill real quick. Just for a few minutes, maybe like 15, 20 minutes or so. Get the blood flowing, break a little sweat, and then um, I'll get ready for bed. Yeah, I got this little painful headache. Ugh. Well, I'm all done with that cardio portion. My headache feels a lot better. I actually can't really even feel it anymore. Whew. I walked half a mile. It felt really nice. Broke a sweat. Come on, Milo. Come on, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Yeah, broke a sweat. I feel better. I'm gonna drink some water to stay hydrated. I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for bed. <sighs> Let's go. All right, so finished taking a shower and I just want to show you guys how ridiculous, or it may not be ridiculous because I think now it's super ridiculous for me, but how ridiculous it is for me to get ready for bed. So once I've showered, then that's when the moisturizing process happens. First things first, I gotta take off my wedding ring because I don't want to get it all gooey. And I kind of trade off between two different moisturizers. These are drugstore moisturizers, so I can do cocoa butter, which Bart really doesn't like because he says, you smell like chocolate bar. So the alternative to cocoa butter is I use a Eucerin, um, and this is odorless. So since it's not here, baby, I'm going to use this. And I put this all over my body. Oh, what the hell? Oh, shit. Uh, I put this all over my body just because, I don't know, ever since getting pregnant, I freak out about getting dry, itchy skin, um, specifically in the boobage and 
stomach area for obvious reasons. Okay, done with the body moisturizer. I know I kind of skipped out on the stomach and the boob area, um, but one of my girlfriends gave me this. So it's really gooey. Um, it's one of those things, one of those butters that melts when you touch it. So right now it's not gooey or anything, but as soon as I touch it and it, and it feels my body temperature, then that's when it begins to melt. So it comes out like this, rub it a little bit, and voila. So then I put this all over this bad boy because the last thing I want are stretch marks. I love showing off my stomach and I do not want stretch marks. So I put this all over my belly and my boobs. And you can't see me put it on my boobs because gross. But I do put it, sorry, on my back because I don't want stretch marks here either. So I make sure to get it in my back. <sighs> Poor Bart, he has to deal with this. This is so not attractive. I'm like, hey baby, you wanna get it on? <laughs> He's like, no, no, that never happened, but that's how I feel. Okay. So I'll also put it in the booby jar, but I'm not gonna do that. And yep, I am wiping my hands on my towel. So once I'm done with that, then I move to my face. And on my face, I use two different products. I use a toner, which you can probably pick up at Target, see that? And then I use a night cream and a day cream, same company, bought it from Target. And uh, I'm gonna use a night cream. So I'm gonna put the toner on first. Lift this up. So I'm gonna put the toner on first. I honestly don't know if toner even works, but since I've been washing my face and actually taking care of it a little bit more, it could be due to the pregnancy, I don't know, but you guys have even called it out. My skin feels so soft and it's so smooth and it glows. So, again, maybe it's the pregnancy, but I'm not gonna stop doing what I've been doing before I got pregnant which has been this routine, keeping it going. Because I have nails, I have to scratch it up. I do this, 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 and don't, ladies, and some gents that even care, don't forget your neck, because your neck ages too. So, just a little tip. And then I get savage with it. And then I just rub it, rub it in. I try to get the areas that most people get wrinkles, so under eyes, forehead, this little smile line on your mouth. Again, the neck. Okay, so again, <laughs> Wipe your hands off there. Then I move to my hair, which also needs moisturizing, because I do dye it. Because a lot of gray hair runs in my family. And I use argan oil. Um, I exchange from argan oil to coconut oil. 
to, what is this? I don't know. This. <laughs> but today, I feel like just sticking with organ oil. I grab about a quarter, quarter size. And I just run it through my hair. And I prefer doing this when my hair is wet at night. Uh, Cause when I go to sleep, I have naturally wavy hair, not curly hair. Wavy hair, so then when I wake up, my hair is not frizzy, and the curls look really cute. So do this, kind of scrunch it a little bit, make sure I get it in all the areas that I can see at least, which is mainly in the front. Here. And I, I do this thing with the excess argan oil. I like to rub it on my tattoos so that my tattoo skin area just stays more moisturized and the tattoos look more vibrant. Does it work? I have no idea, but I'm gonna keep doing it just because I have been doing it. And then I close it out with brushing my teeth. And yeah, I don't know, was this a lot? I don't know, I really don't know. I don't really compare my nighttime routines with friends because from what I've heard they don't really have one because they're just so fucking beautiful naturally that they just go to sleep and they wake up like this so I gotta do a little bit of work but it was cool having you guys thank you so much for watching good night see you guys tomorrow